Hi, welcome to our daily devotion done weekly, as I'm being reminded of. Uh, today's text is really two things going on. One, uh, we're in this Lord Teach Us to Pray series, and it's very interesting how Jesus teaches his disciples and us on what our priorities are. His name to be hallowed, his kingdom to come, his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, there's this interesting uh, encounter from a Phoenician woman and Jesus. Now, the fourth petition, if you remember, goes to our daily needs. It's, it says this, give us this day our daily bread. I don't know if you beg for bread, whether you ask for bread without saying please, but we understand that God gives bread, daily bread, uh, to all his creation. Martin Luther put it this way, God certainly gives bread, daily bread, to everyone without our prayers, even to all evil people. But we pray in this petition that God would lead us to realize this and to receive our daily bread with thanksgiving. So imagine, everyone gets daily bread, normally because God is the creator and uses this ground to create such harvests. And we're getting close to fall again, and there's a lot of harvesting to be done. And we will give thanks to that. The woman here is going to ask for bread uh, in a very unusual way. First, her petition is, free my daughter from demon possession. And this encounter, this conversation goes all the way to bread. Listen to this. Now, as Jesus rose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon, he entered a house and did not want anyone to know, yet he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman, whose little daughter had been had an unclean spirit, heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, of Syrophoenician at birth, and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, Let the children be fed first. For it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. <laughs> that's that's kind of harsh if you could hear that. Poor woman hearing that Jesus is offering bread, but not to her. Actually, to the children of Israel. Before she, he would ever give bread, as he says, to dogs. But listen to her answer. Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. So I don't know how you ask for daily bread, but this woman is asking for the crumbs that fall from the table of their master. Imagine begging that much. But Jesus found in that prayer such faith that he says these words. And he said to her, For this statement you may go your way. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home, found the child lying in bed, and the demon was gone. Give us this day our daily bread. Even for crumbs. To thank him and to trust him every day by praying this prayer. Martin Luther says, it's anything that supports and the needs of the body. It's not just the bread. It's food, drink, clothing, house, shoes, home, land, animals, money, goods, children, husband and wife, devout workers, faithful rulers, good government, good weather, peace, health, self-control, good reputation, good friends, and faithful neighbors, and the like. Namely, everything we breathe drink and eat comes from the Lord. So give him thanks. This woman found that her daughter was well taken care of by the one who provides daily bread, 
even crumbs from the table. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for giving us our bread and that we would realize that whatever we have received really comes from you. Really. Everything. We give you thanks for we know you are the provider of all. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.